Peace. So today's mathematics is wisdom power, which is two and five. And I wanted to take a moment to build briefly on that and give you some practical examples of how to apply it to your everyday life. Like I've shared in many videos, wisdom is right discernment or right judgment. Power is not just simply force and influence. Power is also symbolic to the truth because truth is the most powerful or influential force in the universe. It actually is what all things in the universe are established upon. Even a lie has to be based upon the truth. And one of the common things that you may hear people say, especially nowadays, is <clears throat> they're speaking truth to power or they are unapologetic about the truths that they're speaking or they're unbridled or they're keeping it a hundred or they're keeping it real. But one of the things that you may also notice is that a person that's keeping it real is not necessarily conscious of keeping it right. And that is the relationship between wisdom and power. Right discernment in your expression and delivery of the truth. Because there are times when the truth that you're sharing is appropriate. And there's other times when the truth that you're sharing is completely inappropriate. Like for example, you could be... <clears throat> attending a funeral of someone that you just did not like you thought that they wasn't shit right but that was your personal experience and relationship with that person right now there may come an opportunity during that funeral service where the pastor calls up people who want to share some of their last memories about this person it wouldn't be appropriate to get up there talking about how this person ain't shit because number one, you have a lot of people who are there paying their last respects to this person that may have had very different relationships with them. <clears throat> and to do that in front of them where they're in a moment of grieving for the loss of that loved one would be very inappropriate. Now some people say, well I'm just keeping it real, I'm keeping it a hundred. Yeah, but you're not keeping it right. So again, that is a relationship of wisdom to power. Rightly discerning when it is most appropriate and inappropriate to express and deliver the truth. Now, wisdom power borns God. And it's not just simply enough to do what's most effective and efficient or right in terms of expressing and delivering the truth. You have to have some standard in a sense where it's like, what is the real driving force or purpose behind that expression? Not just it simply being right, but what is your standard? So that's why wisdom power borns God, because you should strive to express that truth in the best possible way. Not just doing enough where it's right, but doing things in a way where it is above and beyond the expectations that some people may have. And that's very challenging for some people. It's very difficult because sometimes you're in a situation where you have to put your own feelings aside, put your own prejudices aside in order to do the right thing. It's even more challenging to do the right thing in a godly way. And not everybody is dedicated to doing something like that. So that is the relationship of wisdom to power. It's being able to rightly express and deliver the truth that is in an appropriate way and to be mindful of when it is very inappropriate to express those truths. It's the same way with those of us who are five percenters. Some of us are under the impression that we need to go around with a billboard sign telling everybody that the black man is God. In some scenarios, that's very inappropriate. For the most part, some people may not even want to know that. But at the same time, it may be very appropriate for a person that may be seeking to find themselves and their origin in this world so you have to rightly discern or rightly judge what is appropriate and what is inappropriate it's not enough to just speak truth to power it's not enough to just tell it like it is or to just keep it a hundred yeah keep it a hundred percent right too so I will, this was inspiring, it was empowering, it was educational, and gave those of you some practical examples of how to utilize that principle of wisdom power. Peace.